The question on active trader, yeah, if there's no volume on options, then maybe this doesn't make sense to trade options, right? We give you a choice, either stock or option. So you either trade stock or if the option is illiquid, you either select strike price that has different open interest and volume, or you don't trade that options. But we are trading in the summer, it's been a common question. Right? The question was, let's go back. We have services, active trader, right? Active trader. So you have bullish and bearish trades. Right, very quite a common question. So Akamai, right? We give you a choice. You can buy a stock, right? You can look at, you know, buy at 94.15, where it's actually trading right now, or you buy it at 92.50 to so wait for further pullback. But let's say 94.15, it triggered that first entry point. So you can buy a stock, right, at 94.15. Or the question is, you know, if you want to leverage, then you can go into options. Right? And buy today's call at $4.15, right? $4.15. On weekly options, even, you know, I'm, I'm using deep in the money call that expires today. So in theory, even if there is no open interest on volume, if you can get it for $4.15, you might have to pay five or 10 cents more it doesn't really matter because it, it trades at intrinsic value, right? Even if there is no volume, you should always be able to sell 90 call right now for $4.32, right? For $4.32. So on weekly options, the idea of trading intrinsic value is important. Sometimes there is a pretty wide bid and ask gap. Let's look at that. Let's look at trade option. Oh, come on. Let's look at Akamai, um, 90 call, right? So 90 call. It's a pretty wide bid and ask spread, right? So that's very difficult to trade, but you still see that the last price is 445. So you either don't trade because it has a pretty wide bid and ask and it's hard to get out of this trade, right? Volume during summer is relatively low. Uh, and that's probably my choice or find something that's, I mean, all the options pretty wide bid and So trading options, since it's a pretty wide bid and then I would either stay away or put an order to buy at the intrinsic value, right? And you don't, you know, even you can do 93 call, right? You can buy 93 call, put an order for dollar, you know, 40, dollar 45, right? To give a little bit to the, uh, but I would definitely not buy at the ask, right? Because if you buy at the ask at $90 plus $4.80, that's $94.80. You're overpaying by half a percent. And the Kamai might not even move by half a percent. So you have to be, when you have wide bid and ask spreads like 90 call, I propose to always use intrinsic value, intrinsic value, especially on weekly options that expires today. You should be able to buy 90 call for right now for $4 and maybe 35 cents, right? And I would not pay more than, let's say, dime for this trade. You know, if, it, if today was Monday, you might have to pay a little bit more, 20 cents. Um, so that's a great question. Uh, it, during summer, it happens more often than not. Again, you have a choice either to trade stock. Uh, if you want to leverage and trade options, I would try to trade the names that are liquid. Um, and have a tight bid and ask spread or buy at a intrinsic value. You know, if you buy it at a intrinsic value at 445, you know, you should be able to sell it at least for $4.30 if nothing else changes, right? At the intrinsic value. 